Hi, everyone. Welcome to Conversations with Nicole. I'm Nicole Boone. Today, my guest is Megan Lowry. She's the creator and owner of Honest Elderberry Company in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and the girl behind the purple juice. Megan says Honest Elderberry Company is a place where her love for people and wellness meet. Megan, I'm so glad to have you on Conversations with Nicole. Nicole, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, this is going to be a great conversation. I have to tell you, I am a believer in honest elderberry syrup. I use it every day. I find the value in it and the ingredients that you use in it. So let's talk about how you got started in this business. Well, actually, 10 years ago, I had this life change of how I care for myself, if you will. Um, I was experiencing chronic inflammation and we're to a point where I couldn't even brush my hair with my right arm. It was all in my shoulder really, really bad. And I had been to a handful of doctors and had a biopsy, MRI, blood work, ton of tests done, but could not find any clear answers as to what was going on with me. But there was definitely something wrong. Um, still to this day, I don't know, but that just led me down a path of asking questions and digging a little deeper to see if I could try to fix myself, if you will. And so that just kind of led me to a lifestyle change in how I care for myself, like exercising more, um, drinking enough of clean water throughout the day, getting enough sleep, um, mental health, being intentional about taking care of my mental health, and then the foods that I eat and how I care for myself. So that's kind of what started this journey. And over the years, I've cultivated a passion for nutrition and the foods we eat and natural remedies, yeah. and that kind of brought me here. Well, I you, you shared with me earlier, you research everything, you look into everything, you want to make sure that what you're selling to others is, is good and pure and clean and uh, organic. So talk about what goes into your elderberry juice and Explain to people exactly what elderberry syrup is. <laughs> yeah, so, and that is super, super, I'm super, super intentional about the ingredients that we use because I would not give myself any less. Yeah. And so I'm, my husband kind of gets on to me because I am so picky about <laughs> that, but it's just a standard that I'm just not willing to compromise on, especially when you know all that, that I know, yeah. just, I can't falter on that. But our honest elderberry syrup, and one thing I do want to mention, a little disclaimer here, that not all elderberry syrups are created equal. There's a lot of things that come into play, like recipe, type of ingredients that are used, um, formulation, how things are put together, all of that good stuff. But honest elderberry, we use organic elderberries, organic aronia berries, we use organic Ceylon cinnamon sticks, organic ginger root, we use organic whole clove, and then we use a raw unfiltered, straight from the beehive, honey from North and South Carolina, because our beekeeper actually has hives in both states, so we actually use a mixture of both. Um, so those are a couple things that make us a little bit different. We do not use any dehydrated berries. Um, that's another thing that does set us apart. We use fresh berries. We do have a couple partnerships with a couple berry farmers throughout the United States. And oh, um, so we do source our ingredients directly from these farmers. And so that's been really cool. I'm super passionate too about supporting a farmer yeah. and supporting local agriculture or agriculture wherever you can. Um, that's something that's very important to me too. So, and then we don't use any powdered ingredients like in our spices. Um, it is more expensive for us, but that's just, again, a quality, a quality control thing for me. Um, so well, you get what you pay for, right? So, <laughs> and so that's just a little, um, a little bit of information about things that make our product different. You know, our honey has never been heated. We do not heat our honey, and that's just a, um, another quality thing that's important to me because once honey is heated over 180 degrees, it then caramelizes the honey and turns it into like a caramelized sugar, which then can throw your blood sugar and all that out of whack. And it well, Yeah, so talk about what makes this elderberry so um, holistic, therapeutic. Yeah and healing. So why, why do we need it? I, I, I just know, only thing I can tell you, I take a sip every morning and I just feel better, but I know there are proven things that it really does help, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> that is very important. And so thank you for keeping me on track there. Um, this is not medical advice, but through, you know, tons of research and experience with people that I deal with, well, elderberries themselves has been, have been used for centuries to treat the common cold and okay. certain viral strains. Um, so the elderberry pe paired with the aronia berry, which the aronia berry has, is known for its high antioxidant content, four times the amount as the elderberries. Um, and then the Ceylon cinnamon, ginger, clove, and the honey, all of these ingredients together create this powerful immune support, if you will. Um, people, just to, I'm telling you, just a dose a day to help keep the doctor away this way. <laughs> But it's been known for to help treat the viral strains. So elderberries are known too for their bioflavonoid properties. And the bioflavonoids, they, so to speak, attack sick cells and keep them from reproducing. So okay. there's been studies that reflect this, that show that some people may not even know they've come in contact with a virus. But then some people, sometimes we still do get sick. Sure. You know, there are different seasons of life and our immune system is always up and down. Um, but studies show that elderberry in the system can not only reduce the severity, but also the duration of symptoms. Um, it's also anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antibacterial. It's high in vitamin C and vitamin A. And you said you feel better. So I have a lot of And it tastes good and you just feel better. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of people too that tell me it gives me a little bit of energy. And that's like part of the antioxidant properties. Yeah. Um, elderberry itself too has been known to boost mood in certain people. Um, and that's just because it's just full of nutrients and things that are good for you. Well, you know, that processed food and all of that is not good for us. So you put something like this in your body, you can tell the difference. And I have to ask, did part of your healing process that you were dealing with start to get better once you started changing your lifestyle and incorporating things like elderberry into your life? It did tremendously. I mean, I am so much better. And what I was, now granted, I'm not 100%. There's still some things that I'm working through and working on because, I mean, it was like 25 years of stuff done differently, of, of you know, lifestyle. Right, totally right. different. So I'm working on reversing certain things. So yes, I am a lot better. And I have a long way to go, but I can brush my hair with my right arm. I mean, I can work out like, before it was hard for me to like lift certain weights because of my arm. Wow. But I can do that now. Um, I'm, I'm a lot better. So it really does make a difference in what you eat. So I do want to share with anybody listening. If you have a local farmer in your area that you can support, go support your local farmers too, because that's where you can get some really good food. Yep. They're so important. Now I know that you also um, have a, um, incorporate giving back as well through your company. So um, it, you're, you're blessing us with good products, but you're also blessing others by giving back at the same time. Yeah. So something, another thing that's very important to me is always give back wherever I'm at, because I have been in very low points in my life. And it's because of angels as that were giving that helped me through some of my toughest times. So no matter what I do, and that's one of the reasons too why I started this business, because I knew that once I got to a certain point in my life, when I ever did start a business, whatever I did, I wanted it to benefit others and I wanted it to be helpful and I wanted it to serve. And so this product does that. It really it changes people's lives. Yeah. And um, so also we donate um, a portion of our sales to local nonprofits. Um, within the last year, we donated to the Children's Attention Home in New York, the Palmetto Pregnancy Center, um, the Catawba Terrace Care Center. We also have donated some elderberry syrup to local schools. So it's very important to us to always give back. Well, don't you think the blessing is in the in the giving always? You know, you, you, you do something kind for others, but I always feel... I feel I'm the one that's blessed that I have the ability to do that, you know, and, and want to do that, so... Absolutely. It's so important. Well, what about future plans? I, I Expanding, branching out, anything you want to share? <laughs> well, I can share a little bit here. So one is Elderberry. We are working on some other products. Good. So we do have some other products in the pipeline. We're still working through some product testing for some of them. Um, we do have an Elderberry body butter that I can mention that we do have coming out soon. Good. And... Um, and then there's also something else that I can't mention. I would love to, but we're not sure of all the logistics yet. But if you want to keep up, you can follow us along <laughs> on our social media, um, yes. subscribe to our newsletter. 
um, we'd love to have you follow along because we're really excited, but we just can't say anything yet. Hey, well that, that's a nice tease to know that we've got something to look forward to. And thank you for uh, giving us that little bit of information as we look forward to, to what's next with Honest Elderberry Company. I really want to thank you for being my guest today. It's been a joy to, to speak with you. I believe in your products and I believe in you. You're a beautiful person. And so it's really great to see young people doing wonderful things in, in the lives of others and in their community. And also to see you have such great success. So thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Thank you so much for having me. You are welcome. And folks, if you want to learn more about the Honest Elderberry Company, you can check them out on their website or all of their social media platforms. And you'll find that information in the description today. Megan, thanks for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. And folks, that's going to do it for this edition of Conversations with Nicole. Until we see you again, we hope you have a great day.